I want to take this time to explain Lobo's abilities uh, and point out a couple things that you probably missed because it only came out an hour ago. Let's check it out. I'll be, I'm going to assume you've already watched it, and I'm just going to pause and, and give my comments as we go along. Uh, first thing that nobody mentioned, that we've got Revenant over here. This is her backpack where I believe she collects the treasures. Well, I guess this wolf tattoo party. right there because Loba stands for she-wolf. One attractive woman. Longer than I had hoped. It's like we got a map change. So if that was the that skull, skull town area, it's all sunk in now. Because over there, as you can see, that's um, Octane's area. That's Gauntlet. And then there's Air Base over there. So I know people wanted to be first, but they weren't as accurate. So we've still got Air Base. Uh, Thunderdome looks like it was taken out too. However, uh, Octane's Gauntlet is still there. So that's cool. The and it's of course Skull Town. The broken ghost has begun. Quest for Broken Ghost Revenant In touch with the I'm on the Wolf Moon, come on I need your help adding a rare and valuable treasure to my collection Now here's a point to make Her abilities are basically a combination of Pathfinder and Wraith Wraith phases and let's say we have a starting point here on the left it becomes invisible between Spartan starting point A to starting point B, and in between she's invisible. There is t but time stays the same. Uh, and then the combination here is that Pathfinder can shoot his beam to a certain area, and he will be pulled in that area. Whereas Revenant is the reverse, he locks an area in the past, and upon zero health, he returns to that position. Where she is moving forward. So like Pathfinder, point to area, mark it, and then basically phasing to that area almost instantaneously. Just be careful. This is obviously a oh check out that R99. Uh this is obviously very similar to the Bloodhound trials. And don't die. Here we go again. Just gotta say it's tough running in heels. Ask any girl. So I assume this might be quests kind of like uh, the Call of Duty Warzone where you have targets to, to knock out, top players, or whatever. Or it could be related to the trial mode, which is sort of like a zombies-esque uh, player versus everyone. Treasure packs. And take a look at these markers down here, sort of unlock keys. Uh, that looks like the old skateboarding game where you move your joystick in certain ways to unlock it. Uh, up and down. Uh, up. Down to the left. Red. All right, got our player versus everyone. You're gonna fight through these guys and find the artifacts, which she collects. Okay, we know this mode, shadow mode. And this is the mystery. These are the things that uh, she would collect. Put them all together, get something special. Maybe bloodhound gun or something like that. New custom skins. Gotta say, Bangalore's looking pretty cool right now. It's the most it's most different she's ever been. She looks like she should be in a, a club or something. And him, oh man, he's been uh he's been off plundering for a while. Let him let that beard get out there a little bit. He looks pretty standard, just the gold trim set of stuff. Really. That is a nice looking wingman. Shoot first. Kings Canyon unearthed. So they're pulling out stuff here. Harvesting. Again, we've got Octane's area still cool. Hopefully Pathfinder doesn't overdo this area, but we've got Codex K4. Now check this out, this is important. We've got our staff, our wolf, wolf staff, and look at this perimeter that she's creating right here around the edge. See that blue kind of on the left there so it's creating the radius and as a thief we know it's some sort of thief ability so this is what we're trying to figure out this has got to be our ultimate throw the staff into the ground and whatever's in this radius here's my educated guess I'm thinking that it's gonna either switch weapons with people in the radius because it's about stealing so I don't think it's just weapons on the ground I would say it's specific to switching weapons or taking weapons but I want to say switching weapons with the people that you're fighting at that moment, which would be interesting because you could fire your gun, get to the empty mag, like one bullet left, switch with them, and then take their gun with a full mag. They'd have to reload. 
So this is my guess is that she is taking somebody's gun within the radius, whether it's random or specific. I think it's probably specific to the gun you want. That's my big guess. I mean, that's got to be it. That's that's the best. Guess. Here it is. She may have a charge of three of those at a time that she can do, which is kind of cool. I don't know how what the delay is between them two, but so she takes off one of the three charges possibly, and of course it's a teleportation device. Te teleportation device, but basically a combination of wraith and pathfinder activates her ability. Transportation. Now here's something to be concerned with: the orientation that she is, the the direction she's facing, and then of course. She holds this sort of Wakanda whatever position for a while, grabs her bracelet, and then puts it on, and that uh, could be a problem. She can't pull her gun out right away. You should smile more. I'm hungry. Word to the wise, you should never say you should smile more to a girl. You should give her a reason to smile. I don't have a table. Girls are so pretty. You should smile. 